to bother to turn up to something that people were saying was important to them. <clears throat> you know, when you book, and I'm not talking about, you know, those of us in this room, I'm venting my frustration. When we arrange screenings and people book tickets and then they don't bother to turn up, but they don't let us know, you're hurting your fellow director's organisation. Our attendance is down this year by, I'd say, close to a half. Okay, we're online. Maybe there's a lot of people joining us online. That would be great. It's a great innovation. Voting in the board elections down from... We were going up last year. We've now gone back to three years. That's a bad sign. And it's a bad sign because it was so easy to vote. You just had to click. So that means... by my calculations, 2,000 maybe directors couldn't be fucked to vote. Working directors I'm talking about. It's fine. All of us will do the work. We'll turn up for the meetings. Charles will give endless, 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 and all the rest of the board, endless amounts of time. But there's 2,000 of our colleagues out there you cannot be fucked to click and vote. Well, personally, shame on them is what I think. Personally, it's what I feel. And I can only be honest with you. Because this organisation is the only chance that directors in this country will have in our generation to make a difference, given the forces that shape our working lives. It's the only... <coughs> chance we have and if we as a community of people cannot be bothered to get involved then all the efforts of Andrew and his staff, all the efforts of the board will be well very very substantially hold beneath the waterline and I think that that is Unfair to the rest of us gathered here, and as I've said, unfair to the next generation of directors who get it worst, and I think it's a crying shame. So for me, we're going to hear you know, a lot tonight about the priorities and things that are going to happen the next year, but for me, I'm speaking personally now, for me the issue is, are we going to get involved as a community, are we going to vote? The DGA, if you don't vote, you're out. That's the way they deal with it. So maybe they know something because they're fucking powerful in their industry. DGA speaks, the industry listens. Why? Because every director in that union, okay, different industrial relations landscape here, but the principle is the same. They're strong because everybody, doesn't matter whether you're Steven Spielberg or the youngest Tyro director on the block, they are all actively engaged in that organisation. It's the most important thing for them, speaking for them, their rights, their family's futures, their creative conditions, their deals, their insurance, everything. Right. So, for those people who couldn't be fucked to click a button, shame on you, because you've hurt us all here tonight. Thank you. One of the things about us, and one of the things that separates us from, obviously from the DGA, is we're not a union, and that we're not funded in the way a union is funded. We rely hugely on ourselves, basically, on ourselves doing the work. Uh, we have an incredibly efficient uh, and increasingly powerful and well-organized executive, but it's, in relative terms, tiny. And a great deal of the work has to be done by directors giving up their time, working directors fitting it in between production, same as you know, everybody else here. And it's from that route comes the frustration that was, Paul was expressing, and it's from that root of 
those group of people who are giving up a great deal of personal time in order to try and work what's required here, which is a bit of a miracle, without the resources of the Directors Guild, which is based on taking a much bigger chunk of directors' income and on a compulsory basis. However, Paul and I have this argument a lot, and we've argued a lot about what Paul had just said. And while I also was frustrated by the election turnout, which was lower than last year, and we are a smaller group than we were last year, neither of which is good things for a democratic organization, I also think that that means we as an organization have to keep looking for a more effective way to communicate with directors. And we have to recognize that we are working in a culture which is under attack, where people do feel that it's very difficult to take their attention off, so to speak, the wheel in front of them, where it's often very difficult to physically attend meetings, uh, where you know giving up time during the working day is hard. Now, some of us do that, and we know it's hard too, and we still do it, but we still have to adapt ourselves to the community that we represent, because in the end, you know, we represent the community that we are, not the community that we would like everyone to be. And so I am going to talk a bit, very briefly, I mean, you, you'll get a lot of stuff quite properly in, in the course of the day about the things we've achieved. And that is very important to remember that when we started, whenever it was, six, seven years ago, we kind of, to say we had nothing is not absolutely true, but we were nowhere in terms of being able to represent directors. We were nowhere in terms of being able to argue what directors wanted. And we were nowhere in terms of being able to represent the argument of directors in a greater forum than we are. And we were also very poor in that, in that the organization was underfunded and lacked the ability to really finance initiatives. We are now in relative terms, financially much better off than we were before. We've just moved into a new premises. I sat outside, choosing the sofa patterns 20 minutes ago. Uh, we couldn't afford a sofa five years ago, so we are going to have sofas. That's really exciting and not that spring, I know. But what that does mean is it's a, it, it is another resource of a place where you can come for your 10 pounds a month and, and own that space in Covent Garden. And that is, that, that is you know, yet another layer of what we're able to offer each other from the work that we've done. Ah.